Hey everybody, Ask the Coach here. I posted the other day on just some general uh, health and fitness questions you might have and our first question comes from my buddy Bobby. And Bobby has a marathon coming up uh, this coming weekend and his question was, um, how much should he be uh, riding or running or, or training this week? And um, my, my main answer is, less than what you feel like you need to, right? Um, and so one of the big things uh, in any distance training program, uh, getting ready for a race or even getting ready for a, uh, a regular sports event, but uh, in athletics where you have like single event or long training uh, times prior to a specific event, it could be uh, even a weightlifting meet, uh, a powerlifting meet, um, or specific events that are really just one um, you know one event and then you move would you would move back into training so such as a marathon a half marathon 5k's even uh, with these training programs most training programs have what's called a taper at the end of the the training program leading up to the event and sometimes these tapers can be anywhere from three weeks two weeks uh, one week you know but most of these tapers, are meant to keep you um, fresh for that actual uh, specific event. The biggest thing here is that any work that you needed to get in to prepare you for the marathon should have already happened. So there's nothing that you're going to do in training uh, that's going to prep you this week specifically for the marathon. So uh, leading up to this marathon, you've had weeks upon weeks of training and, and mileage and and time trials and, and all of this base level that's been put into place. Uh, so the mileage and all of that has been put in. It's you don't need to test out and and you know run a, a 25 mile run this week for the 26 miler you're gonna do on Saturday or Sunday. So all of that that lead up training should have already been accomplished and done. Now, the one thing that you can do is uh, allow your body to recover and rejuvenate prior to coming into your event. When you have long-term training programs like Bobby's probably gone through over the last uh, few months, most of the time our body is actually a little beat up. Um, there's an added volume of training going on and so therefore like you know, all of us just get kind of those nicks and bruises uh, along training with a higher volume program. So, you know, Bobby could be running into, you know, maybe a little bit of a of some tendonitis going on or some achy joints or uh, maybe a slight strain or sprain somewhere. Well, the key is what he should be doing most importantly is resting. And, uh, you know, one thing that we tell our clients all the time is that, you know, really your your progress happens in your recovery, not in the actual training endeavor. It's the result and the response the body has to training. Well, the way that body needs to respond effectively is through rest and recovery. So the best thing that you can do this week, Bobby, is actually focus on recovery methods, not necessarily focus on training methods. If you wanna go out and just keep that kind of the juices flowing for some light um, and, and shorter distance type rides, but they should be easy. They should be more aerobic based where you're just kind of steadily moving, you know, no more than about 30 to 45 minutes uh, at a time. Uh, and it really should only be a couple this week. The other thing that you want to allow for this week is you want to allow for your, your glycogen stores to, uh, to build up for a longer event like you have for uh, Saturday. Um, and what that doesn't mean is it doesn't mean carb load, by the way. Um, but it's just not depleting our current glycogen stores uh, through training and then not replenishing them appropriately. So just leave those guys full this week. And so that means that lower intensity, uh, shorter duration training uh, runs or rides should be really the focus this week. So I hope this helps. Uh, again, uh, great question, Bobby. Leading up to a marathon, you know, how much should I be training the week before? And, and ideally, it's, it's just not that much. Uh, you shouldn't be training that much the week before. You should be moving a little bit, keeping the juices flowing, but really concentrating on recovery and rejuvenation, making sure that you're ready for your race on Saturday. 
I know that seems counterproductive and counterintuitive. Uh, we want to, we, we feel like we're going to lose something. And just a quick note on that is that uh, we have like any training protocol that you go through or any training design, strength training, conditioning, uh, endurance, things like that, they have like a shelf life, okay? So when you have endurance training going on, uh, the base that you've built, uh, it has a shelf life and that shelf life is far greater than one week. So even if you did nothing for a full that you've built up over 16 weeks or 18 weeks or even 20 weeks in a training program. So hope this helps. Uh, we'll have more questions and answers coming out. Uh, but again, I'm Coach Josh. If you have any other uh, questions you have for me, don't hesitate to send us a message, post onto my, my Facebook or my Instagram, uh, as well as make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, if you want to have more uh, questions answered by the coach. Have a great day.